Positivity reduces stress. Communicating in positive terms to yourself and to others triggers enthusiasm, capability, and self-confidence. Allow me to share some additional advantages when your self-talk and communications to others are in positive rather than in negative terms. I also want to emphasize that positivity applies especially to teachers who are engaged in classroom management and classroom discipline. Positivity feels good. It brings joy, gratitude, and energy. It negates despair, but instead prompts hope, pride, and inspiration. Positive emotions engages people's attention. It changes one's outlook on life because it expands one's worldview. It prompts people to look around more. Positivity changes how your mind works. It builds a psychological strength and mental habits, such as looking for humor that promotes good health. Thinking in positive terms promotes gratitude, which is the key characteristic leading to happiness. Positivity can transform your future. It brings out the best in you, and it can help you sleep better, become more optimistic, and improve connections to friends and families. Positivity reduces negativity. Negativity often increases your blood pressure. In contrast, thinking positively calms it. Being positive is also the key to resiliency and perseverance. Positivity can prompt a tipping point, that sweet spot where small change can make a big difference. Positivity changes one's outlook on life because it stems from a positive disposition. Positivity alters how you see your connections with others. You start thinking we instead of me. You look past things that separate you from others like racial differences to appreciate the uniqueness of other people. Positivity promotes wellness and good health. Many studies have shown that a positive attitude promotes a longer lifespan. So here's a tip. You can willfully change the way your brain works to shape and reshape both your thinking and your emotions. For example, when you think of situations as challenges rather than as problems, the positive attitude engenders more solutions that reduce stress. Here's another example. Just thinking, I get to see my mother-in-law, in contrast to, I have to see my mother-in-law, changes your mindset and the experience. More insf insightful tips on how to manage your stress are in my third book of showing how to always be in control without coercion. Live Without Stress, How to Enjoy the Journey is available at piperpress.com. You will find the book so resourceful that you will not want to depart with your own copy. When you get the book from this website, you will also receive a second copy free, one to give to a friend or family member. Thanks for watching and sharing this video. Until next time, live a stress-free life and visit piperpress.com.